and this is the upstairs part. Um, I must do a tour and show you because it's absolutely, the gardens are just gorgeous. Like this place is so me. It's so my style. It's, yeah, I'm absolutely delighted here. But <clears throat> I figured, well, Spirit must want me to do a video for you guys. So here I am. That's dedication for you. I um, was very disappointed, as I said, not to be meeting my lovely cabin man tonight but I'll see him soon okay so the other day um, it was actually the 26th when I channeled this little piece and um, I'm going to read it out for you now and it's just about the upcoming energy shifts that are happening for all you super sensitives you empaths light workers way showers um, spiritually awake and conscious people um, I just find I'm getting more and more, <clears throat> just when I think I can't be more sensitive and more um, tuned in to the energetic shifts, I have to tell you, over three weeks ago now, I was actually taken by ambulance. Yeah, never ever had that experience before in my life. It was absolutely crazy. I was taken by ambulance at about four in the morning. Um, I was just so ill and I couldn't breathe and I was chronically throwing up and vomiting and I pretty much passed out and my, this is before I moved, I only moved recently, um, my, my then housemate found me passed out upstairs in the landing so it was crazy and he didn't know what to do and eventually he just thought I better call an ambulance to be sure. So, yeah, and of course, that was the night of the 9th of July, the Tundra New Moon, uh, the super moon, the second super moon, which was just so palpably profound for me. I mean, I literally, the night I was taken in the ambulance was a dark night of the soul. And since then, I've done a bit of research, and it turns out that a lot of you guys were having the exact same experience, that you were actually... um. A lot of people were freaking out. There was a lot of breakdowns, a lot of breakthroughs. For me, it was definitely a breakthrough, but it definitely felt like a breakdown. Physically, I actually thought I was going to die. I actually thought, this is it, Avine. You know, and to be honest, I was feeling so unwell. I actually would have welcomed it because I just felt so bad. Not just physically, but spiritually and emotionally. I was, it was like being trapped in a room with all my deepest fears. And it was definitely childhood stuff. Um, I didn't even know that that moon was meant to, I, I, I knew the moon, the moon, I was always aware of the moon activity because I feel it because I hadn't slept um, the night I was taking the ambulance. I actually had not slept for three nights solid. So I was exhausted. I had my first date on the 9th. Earlier that day, I met, who's now my, my boyfriend, um, David, I met David um, for the first time, which was wonderful, in Greystones, um, went to the Happy Pair, had a lovely date, we must have spent over four hours together, which I knew then we were actually really connecting, but didn't feel so good when I got home, um, felt lightheaded, had to lie down, my nose started to bleed, um, yeah, it was really, really crazy, um, I can just see that little bit of <laughs> I just want to give that a wipe <laughs> um yeah so it was it was probably one of the worst it was it was a really 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 rough time I couldn't eat or sleep much for a week and a half after so I mean I have an amazing appetite I can eat people under the table I usually have twice what everybody else is having and um, I eat very well I eat very good food but I don't usually um eat little I usually have a very very strong appetite and for the first time in my life I just I just had no appetite I I was weak uh, I, I kind of had to I had to take the week off work which is unheard of for me and um, really really weak and ill but so thankful a few days later when that horrible uh, intense energy wore off um, but it was definitely childhood insecurities. It was like, to me, it was like a death. It was a spiritual death. It was definitely um, 
the angel saying to me, this is 3D old programs. You cannot take this stuff, these heavy, dense, negative concepts with you into the 5D now because we've gone too far into the 5D. We're really, really living it. We're really breathing it. This stuff can't come with you. So you're going to have to, like we're kind of going to have to give you a crash course in facing that head on and just moving through it. That's that. It wasn't even like that I got a chance to go around it, around it or over it or under it. It was like I had to sift through it and sit with myself for hours. I mean, before I collapsed, I did spend hours trying to deal with this intense emotional um, barrage of really intense, as I said, um, purging energies. You know, definitely it was a purge and physically because I was vomiting and vomiting and vomiting. It was crazy. Anyway, moving on. Since then, things have been amazing. Like, it's like I went from my worst nightmare into my perfect, ideal, beautiful existence of a dream life. I mean, I wish I could show you guys where I'm living. I mean, it's just, I'm looking down at the garden. Um, it's just incredible. And um, I mean, I want to get back to Bray for ages and I'm still just chuffed to be back here. This has always been like a spiritual home for me. I love living by the sea. I need to live by the sea. I need the cliffs. I need the hike. I need the forest and nature and the sea energy. So that's great. So I had a little, um, I was woke up during the night. I had a little angel tap me on the shoulder with this information for you guys about the upcoming energy. So we have the Lion's Gateway portal. Yes, the 8th of the 8th. So that's coming up for us. Um, and this was uh, downloaded on the 26th of July. So I'll just read it to you. After the tumultuous moon on the 9th, July 2017, we can prepare and engage from the 26th of July for the Lion's Gate portal. Of course, this new Lion's Frequencies climax on the 8th of the 8th, earthing diamond light codes into the ground of Gaia and our own body cells. This gateway encourages our inner courage and line qualities to emerge. Expect expressive anger to wash up for full articulation should you righteously feel is appropriate. Let's not run away with that anger though. And this is the key point. Check in regularly to your emotional body. If there is a situation you feel needs resolving and your assertive skills are usually lacking, the lion's gate will support your use of your throat chakra. If there has been something brewing and needs revelation, you will want to release it clearly and calmly now. Just stay in a line centeredness before, during and after, because these intense vibrations can sometimes make some feel too entitled, spilling into ego dramas and old programs. The key here is consistency and a deeper connection to your truth. Don't encourage activation of the ego patterns. So they're really saying there, yes, you will feel um, more assertive than usual. If there is anything that needs to be released or said or expressed, you will feel a strong impulse to do so around these times. Um, and anything where there is a righteous anger needed, you know, and anger again, I, I teach a lot about anger it's so misunderstood, it's so misused. Anger is a positive thing and it is the fire for change and to help move us back up the emotional um, scale of things, but only when it's used in a healthy and functional way. So the, the trick here is you don't wanna slip back into ego patterns. You're entitled to get angry if somebody has crossed a boundary with you, but you're, in, you're encouraged not to go the other way over that and then suddenly slip into diva mode and become an egotistical nightmare. So it's about balance. This is all about balance. And fifth dimension is about balance. It's about functionality. It's about healthy boundaries, respect for the self and respect for others. And blowing your fuse at someone from a very ego space is not respecting yourself or other people. So keep that in mind. So they went on to say, simply acknowledge and dissolve what is not of the fifth dimensional desired self. So it's a good time to 
release what's no longer fitting in with your new fifth dimensional self. The eclipses on the 7th and 8th of August complete their adventure into our lives on the 21st of August. So that will be the completion of these new diamond light code frequencies. These are rich magnetic and magical openings in our physical earth reality as well as our spiritual lives. So, you know, it's this is a time that's it's you're not to um don't don't abuse these energies. Um definitely see them as opportunities and make the most of them and um use them to your advantage, but at the same time yeah, don't abuse them. Just be aware that sometimes because some of us have been trained out of using our anger wisely and functionally when we do actually allow ourselves to feel those burning feelings we can let it consume us and we can trip into the ego stuff so it's about being the lioness standing in your truth and um, holding your space and staying physical physically present in your body if somebody is challenging you or bullying you or giving you a hard time or, or disrespecting you and being able to hold that state of presence and being conscious, that in itself will dissolve the illusion of the other person and the power they're trying, the power trip they're trying to have over you. And actually, um, it was in talking to a dear friend that the day that I channeled that, that information was perfect for her. Um, it really related to her situation where she's being challenged in a work situation and you know we spoke at length about being able to stay in the physical body because as sensitives when somebody when conflict arises we're inclined to panic freak out and just exit the body so the soul just leaves and what can happen is it can stay in the ethers, it can stay in the spiritual realms and then we feel very spacey, we don't feel grounded, we don't feel well and then we have to go and, you know, see somebody to have it pull back in. But the challenge for um, the early indigos, the crystals, the rainbows, whatever you want to call us, um, the, different, the different soul volunteers, the different waves of souls that come in at different times, we all do struggle with staying physically present in our physical bodies when negative and conflicting situations arise. And especially when somebody is abusing their power and abusing, trying to, to hook into our power center, into our solar plexus. It's very important that we stand two feet firm on the ground. Think of your inner lion or lioness and just hold your space. You know, a lioness is very brave she's very courageous and that really is the theme of this lion's gateway it's courage it's about being courageous it's about being brave and being um even being brazen you know being able to speak speak up for yourself and stand your ground and being able to articulate your truth and when we really are able to honor our own truth regardless of what anybody else has to say or think about it magical doorways open in our lives. 